I'm going to show you how to make an app that receives multiple values from Firebase database. Hello guys and welcome to Master Coding channel. I hope you are safe from coronavirus and well motivated to learn Firebase and uh, making a complex app and million dollar app. Just kidding, let's dive and make an app that receives multiple data from a uh, Firebase database. Please, if this is your first time here and you want to learn coding and uh, master Android, master Flutter and master every coding, uh, coding language and joining the largest Android developer course on the earth, you are on the right place. So hit subscribe below, comment and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's begin guys. So we see in the previous video how to receive the data of a single value. So remember, there is a very important concept in the Android in the Firebase that is using the key value uh, theory and the concept. So this is the key. V1 is the key, and hello is the uh, value. V2 is the uh, the key, and subscribe is the value. So let's now create an app that receive the multiple data from from firebase now we see in the previous video how to make an app that receives single now let's let's move to on data change and receive multiple data just for information and very important note that whenever you are dealing with the values key and value and you don't have any objects or nodes you are dealing with you should deal with a value event listener and the next couple of videos we are going to deal with a very new uh, or new or other type which is the children event listener so let's now create this uh, the logic uh, logic uh, uh, code on the data change method to receive multiple values now I'm going to log and V and I will create like tag here taggy and let's receive the message would be data snapshot because we are going as uh, we uh, receive and as I told you that we receive the data in a form of data snap a snapshot uh, object so what I need from this snapshot is to get only the value so here we go we have done now let's add it because it is in a form of string and the message is in form of string and string should be uh, initialized by the empty brackets. Now we see the, our app, nothing changed. Let's see our log cat and a type here taggy. And very good guys. We have received the V1 and its value and V2 and its value. Now let's go and see the importance of um, uh, dealing with the uh, data snapshot so let's get the the, uh, the uh, length of our uh, data inside the database so in order to do that to do that let's go to here and make our data snapshot always and dot so you see how many uh, uh, methods you can uh, get with and uh, learn about them so in order to to get the keys you can go and uh, use the get key uh, method in order to get children and get a reference and, and uh, another uh, values so you can uh, use these methods now, what was uh, we were at length get value dot here? 
So as I told you, in order to get the length, so we remove the database, uh, data snapshot, and we use data list, database list dot length. This method will you to uh, use to get the uh, data uh, length of the Firebase. So let's go to our logcat, and here we go. We have our uh, v1 and v2, and the number of objects we have is two. Now let's go and see the Firebase. Uh, powerful uh, real-time database let's uh, let's change it to um, like uh, like and comment below and we hit enter and here we go there is a new value uh, or look a cat log uh, log uh, a new log that telling us that we have a v1 and like and comment below and v2 is subscribe so and we has the value here so we have learned in this video how to use and get the multiple data snapshot from the firebase in next video we are going to move in um, like more and more complex uh, uh, concept about making or receiving multiple values and then that we are going to receive multiple uh, children thank you guys i hope you subscribe comment and like see you in next videos see you next